Hello and welcome to another Betfred Sports video right here in the Quest Media Network studio. Now, there are a lot of big results in the Premier League at the weekend, so just to quickly run through them. It ended Burnley 0, Manchester City 2, that keeps City top of the table. Ended Manchester United 1, Leicester City 1, not great for United's top four chances. And it ended Liverpool 2, Watford 0, Liverpool trailing closely behind in second place and there's a lot of big games still to play. So, Peter... First of all, let's take a look at City's 2-0 win at Burnley. Comfortable in the end. It was interesting that both Liverpool and City both had 2-0 wins. You get a lot of that this time of the season. The, the uh, better teams just um, impose themselves. 2-0, pretty comfortable for both of those clubs, as predicted, I've got to say. Um, and so it sets it up nicely for the um, the showdown on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, when Liverpool are at the Etihad in the what some people say is winner-take-all, but... It certainly is for Liverpool, mm. but I think a draw would be quite um, satisfactory for City. Yeah. It keeps that one point difference um, with about five games to go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the Betfred odds now for the title are City of 49, Liverpool 13 to 8, and then Chelsea in third, 400 to 1. That just shows the gulf between the top three sides, Peter, City 49. As we keep saying, Fred's already paid out. Will it come back to bite him, though? Personally, do you think Liverpool have got it in them to catch him? I think the, the Liverpool have got the better strike force, and they can um, those uh, top players, um, such as um, Salah, for instance, uh, can get them out of the mire. So they can, they can be playing poorly, and the striker comes to the fore. City just dominate possession and yeah. sort of wear down the opposition. But I keep going back to the fact that City's bench is far far superior than Liverpool's. They're, when they bring on substitutes, they often strengthen the team. Whereas when Liverpool bring on substitutes, it certainly weakens the team. Yeah. So I think that um, any injuries affecting Liverpool, um, and also I think that City probably edge it managerial wise as well. Um, and so I just think that City will ride out the season and win win the league. Champions League is a different ball game altogether. <laughs> yeah. I know we'll come to that, but um, in the Champions League. It's just one of games, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. it's a sprint rather than a marathon. Yeah, absolutely. Well, just sticking with the top four for the moment. Manchester United now priced with Betfred at 8-1 to one to finish in the top four. And that's following the one-all draw with Leicester at the weekend. Peter, not a great performance again. We just keep saying the same things week in, week out. Although, on a plus note, Bruno Fernandes has signed a contract extension. Yeah, um, I wish they'd put in his contract that he should um, stop arguing with referees because he seems to be using a lot of his energy up moaning at the officials, whoever they are, yeah. from whatever country they're from. They're always at fault and he's <laughs> always right. He's always right, you know, yeah. Fernandez. Even when he's made a complete hatch of a pass, he's always right and the referee's always wrong. Well, he wants to get a grip on himself mm. and start not moaning at the officials. They're all at it now. Yeah. It's an indication of how frustrating it is to play for that United team yeah. because they're playing as individuals and, and also they, they, they must be thinking to themselves those those superstar players that that manager's not going to be there next season yeah. <laughs> so that they don't have to actually bust their gut and what's happened to Rashford he didn't even start that game no. and he's got to step up now he's running out of time to make the England squad and also um because the World Cup, obviously, at yep. Qatar this year. And, and also, he's got to get himself back in the United team because he'll be flirted. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. The United will not hesitate to start moving players on yep. if they think they're not going to do the business. And if somebody comes in with a decent offer for Marcus Rashford, he'll be gone. Yep. And what a shame that'll be because he has got, he's a, come through the academy, um, joined United at nine or ten years of age, comes from Withenshaw, local lad, Fantastic, fantastic. But he's no longer a prospect. Yeah. He should be in there scoring the goals or at least creating the goals. Yeah. Mm absolutely superb pace that he's got. Yeah, well it looks like he's fallen out of love with the game and I think the worry for United fans now is that given his long-term contract, will Bruno Fernandes suffer the same fate if they continue to underperform on the pitch and not win any trophies? Will he lose his love for the game? Will it affect the club as a whole? Well, I think he's a different um, kettle of fish with... Um, uh, with Bruno, he's much more of a um, established player, um, and he, I think, he's going to thrive now. Um, he could potentially be the captain. Yeah, you think uh, so? Yeah. When you wonder what's happened with uh, Maguire, yeah, Maguire's form, and also Ronaldo is at his age. You can only think of another season, about, mm. and possibly not even that. 
um, for him at United. Absolutely. Well, as we just said then, Manchester United now priced at 8-1 to one to finish in the top four this season. But looking at Tottenham Hotspur, they're in great form at the moment. They beat Newcastle United 5-1 yesterday. Now they're priced at 13-8 to eight to finish in the top four. Peter, uh, it looks good for the London outfit. It does. Um, I know that Arsenal are playing tonight and they're four to nine, so they are the favourites to uh, get the, the fourth slot. Uh, you mentioned Chelsea before, um, massive outsiders to win the title now, but the one to 20 to secure the third place or even a top four finish. Uh, Arsenal four to nine, Spurs 13 to eight, United on the drift after another <laughs> poor performance. Uh, eight to one at Betfred now for a top four finish. Um, Betfred Price, uh, West Ham, who are sort of clinging on in there at 33 to 1. Um, at the bottom of the table, um, Betfred have the bottom three, all odds on now. Uh, Norwich, 1 to 100. Watford, 1 to 8. Burnley, um, 1 to 2 after the defeat by, uh, by City at the weekend. Um, Everton, well, they're at Burnley mm. midweek, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, they're 2 to 1. Um, and they're next up against United yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, they're 2 to 1 to um, uh, be relegated um, and they'll probably just about avoid it. Uh, Leeds 10 to 3, so they're out, they're getting to be uh, out of it according to the Betfred odds. Well, it's a huge game taking place tonight. It's Palace v Arsenal. Arsenal have the opportunity to move back into the top four with a victory. Peter Alexander Lacazette to score two more tonight, 10 to 1. Yeah, he's, um, well, he's a class act, isn't he? Um, he's benefited from the various changes at Arsenal and uh, odds on that, um, that Arsenal will get the victory that puts them back into um, fourth slot. Mm. Uh, but it is quite a battle that between uh, Arsenal and, and Spurs for the fourth place. Um, and big rivals in North London, of yep. course. Um, so it's um, causing sparking many a debate, I would imagine, in the, in the London area. And of course, uh, Palace boss Patrick Vieira now in charge of the Eagles, of course, an Arsenal legend. So there's a bit, of, a bit of animosity between the sides, a bit of history now. Yeah, you, you wonder why Arsenal appointed Arteta rather than Vieira in the mm. first place, um, considering what Vieira's done. But I think Arteta just edged it in terms of experience working under Guardiola at City. Yeah. So, um, but you're right, there is a, a lot of um, um, inter-club sort of rivalry from the past history. Um, between the two coaches um, and of course the pl close proximity in London. Absolutely. Well, just to review, Palace v Arsenal tonight. Palace are priced at sixteen to five to win. The draw is twelve to five, and the Gunners to take the three points priced at ten to eleven. Well, as always, we'll move into some Betfred Super League news now. Well, it's not actually the Super League this weekend. It's the Challenge Cup. We've got the last eight sides competing in it. They're all Super League sides. Peter, can you pick out your key fixture. Well, I think the key fixture is um, Catalan Dragons against um, St Helens. Um, now, St Helens beat Catalans earlier on in the season, and so they've put a marker down there. Um, and St Helens have gone on to win so supremely well and on top of the Betfred Super League. Um, having said that, they did get beat in France by Toulouse. Yeah. So um, that is the key game that is on Saturday. And Betfred have St Helens the nine to four favourites to win the Challenge Cup outright, they, they're obviously the holders. Uh, Wigan, three to one. Catalans, five to one. Now, Catalans and uh, they were beaten at Huddersfield, surprisingly, in the Super League um, at the weekend, whereas Saints absolutely hammered mm. uh, Leeds. And James Roby, the iconic captain of St Helens, chalks up his 500th game. And that's pretty phenomenal in yeah. um, Super League terms when you consider the batching and, and um, hammering those bodies get. And he plays one of the toughest positions as hooker for St Helens. Yep. Um, so, um, as I say, St Helens are the favourites to, to win the Challenge Cup outright. Catalan's third favourites, 5-1 to one at Betfred. Huddersfield, uh, they're 10-1. to one. Um, Now, I've got the fixtures here. Hull KR um, opened things up on Friday, um, hosting uh, Castleford. And then on Saturday, it's Catalans and St Helens, the key game, the best game, which is live on the BBC and in France. Huddersfield are playing Hull FC. Wakefield are playing Wigan, and that's also on the BBC on Sunday. That would be an interesting one, because Wakefield are banging far, um, as are Wigan. Um, 
Wakefield are the 20 to 1 outsiders of the eight left in the Betfred Challenge Cup. Uh, Hull KR 11 to 1 and Hull FC 10 to 1, the same price as um, Huddersfield. Brilliant stuff. Well, there you have it. We are into the last day of the Betfred Challenge Cup. And as Peter said then, there is a huge game taking place. It's Catalans Dragons v St. Helens. Saints, of course, top the Super League at the moment. So that one's got all the ingredients to be a cracker. Well, you might not think it given the weather outside, but the cricket season starts in three weeks' time. And I went down to Drawston Cricket Club on Saturday uh, to take in their pre-season friendly against Crompton. And before the game started, I spoke to Captain Alex Ciccarillo to get his thoughts ahead of the new season. Yeah, I'm excited for the year ahead. I think we've recruited well in the off-season, which is always a good positive start. Um, the lads seem really up for it. You know, we've got a good, good strong team here today as well for the, for the friendly, even though it's about minus three and we all need hats and gloves. But um, yeah, um, we'll see as we go with that one. I'm loving it at the moment, but we might change throughout the year, I think, with that. We'll see. I think we're in a good spot as a club. I don't know, I can't speak for other clubs and, and where they're up to. Um, but yeah, I think that we've got healthy numbers this year that have signed on and, and signed the membership forms and stuff like that. And we're looking like we're having a really strong season, not only for the first team, but the second and the thirds as well. And it's, it's good because we've got a load of juniors as well that are really um, pushing this year. We've got one of them playing today who's still under 15s, Joe Schofield, who um, Lanks are keeping an eye on this season as well. So hopefully, um, you know, he can and the rest of the juniors that are involved can really sort of start pushing on and kicking into the first and second and third team as well. So, yeah, I think we're good overall. Well, that was Drawsden Cricket Club captain Alex Ciccarillo previewing the new season in the Greater Manchester Cricket League. And you can actually watch that full interview on our website, www.questmedianetwork.co.uk. Well, I'm afraid that's it for this week's Sports Talk. However, as I said earlier, there's a big weekend of sport ahead. So we've got the Challenge Cup. Of course, the last eight teams competing in that. We've also got the Grand National on Saturday. Everyone loves a bit of Grand National. And of course, the big game in the Premier League. It's Manchester City taking on Liverpool. And if you do fancy a punt on any of the sport uh, over the next few days, Betfred stores are now open, but you can also bet online and buy their app.